Keep your eyes on Christ. 7.43 is our time. Friends, you are still tuned in to Mango Radio's Mango Mornings with your hosts, Pastor JV, DJ Aya, and DJ Bernie. Mm-hmm. And this segment uh, will make us realize how important language is sa ato ang mga kinabuhi because communication is a very basic survival kit para sa ato ang tanan. Mm. Just imagine life without communication. Non-verbal lang lahat. Non-verbal lahat. <laughs> Signals, no? Ito mo, ito ako. Sign language ako. Mao ba? Di mo kaya ba mag-speak og Hungarian? Ay. Oh, no. And then, we were in Hungary and I was supposed to buy something. Uh-huh. Sign language ako. Okay, ano, point-point ako ang katong item. <laughs> but ako gipoint na kong tiil. Managahan ako. And then, mm. anak ko nga. Ana, oh, di ba? So, tambal sa baho sa tiil. So, tambal sa baho sa tiil pila. Kasi na mo tayo So, just imagine life if you are going to a country just like the experience of DJ Bernie nung no, di ka kabalo sa ilahang language. Huwag tularan. Huwag tularan. So, it's uh, important and helpful to learn a few words, conversational maybe, uh, especially if you're going to that country soon. Mm. And our example for today will be Japan. Yes. So, may kabalo magdihonggo din ha uh, <laughs> na atay guest nga um, pwede tatabangan no? to uh, learn the basics of nihonggo tama ba uh, ako ang pagka-pronounce <laughs> well we have uh, Sir Ramon Villamor owner of uh, Psycho Japanese Language Training Center to educate us about uh, what is going on and what is the trend today sa Japan especially nga wow. grabe ng access no kung nang mm. easy na kaayo for the Filipinos to the max to the max <laughs> as in ah. and Japan is uh, I know one of the favorite destinations sa mga Filipinos yeah. kinahan sila sa countryside yeah, and, and the beauty of the country the... itself mm-hmm. 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 So, so without further ado sir good morning and uh, thank you so much for coming over to Mango Radio kanasay mo sir sensei <laughs> Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Uh, ohayo gozaimasu. So, thank you for having me here today. Uh, it's an honor. It's Sakto a privilege. Konnichiwa. Oh, ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. So sir, please tell us uh, what you do and uh, where it, did it all started? Uh, okay. Um, uh, I run Psycho Japanese Language mm. uh, Training Center. Uh, it started way back 2000, uh, 2017. Mm. Oh. Okay, so the idea was um, actually I I, I got the a, um, a uh, program mm-hmm. from an agency. Mm-hmm. Na they asked me to teach Japanese language sa mga na hire nila na workers from Davao City. Mm-hmm. Since they don't have a uh, training center yet in Davao City that time, mm-hmm. so um, ayon uh, I I teach Japanese language to those. Um, aspiring mm-hmm. uh, gusto mo at uh, gusto mo pumunta ng Japan mm-hmm. but uh, unfortunately hindi sila lahat nakaalis at that time mm-hmm. due to some um, siguro nagka problema sa agency or si employer itself mm-hmm. so some of the students na hindi nakaalis they ask me na sir could you help me uh, tulungan niyo po kami na makapunta ng Japan mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so ginawa ko ng paraan I talk to, to people na nasa industry mm-hmm. And uh, um, thank God it, na napalis ko naman yung, yung, yung hindi nakaalis at the time. So, napalis mm. ko sila. Wow. So, that's the time I started Psycho-Japanese Language because mm-hmm. I realized na pwede pala. Pwede pala tum- tayo makatulong ng, uh, yung, from, especially from Tagadabaw because the access is uh, medyo malayo from Manila. Usually right. kasi pag uh, nag-a-abroad, no? Mm. Agencies are from Manila. Yes. Mm. And uh, left behind yung mga taga Davao from Mindanao. So, mm. uh, yeah. 2017, we started Psycho-Japanese Language. And mm. um, praise God, by 2018, January of 2018, we started deploying uh, some of our students na sa Japan. Wow. Until today po. Yeah. So, you're not just teaching uh, conversation, but you're definitely going for the proficiency. Mm-hmm. Yes, the target is the uh, to, to to pass. The students will pass the Japanese language proficiency, uh-huh. enable for them na mag-apply for Japan. Kasi yan ang uh, one of the requirement. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh. Nice. So was it difficult when you started? Because I know no, nga, uh, not all are inclined to learn languages, especially when they're older. Mm. To learn languages at, at a certain age. Because if younger... Then yes. they're more easy to absorb. Yes. yes. <laughs> but like for people who are probably 30s or probably uh, mid mid 20s, yes. no? was it difficult? Yes, I do remember we have a student um, um, 
medyo may edad na at that time uh, she was uh, 52 at that time oh. 2000 That's 2018. 52 wow. at that time. And nakaalis siya, uh, she was 53. Mm. Wow. No, oh, no. Um, actually, the, yung ano talaga, the differences talaga, pag mm. younger, mas daling, mas mabilis maka, maka-absorb. Mm. No, compared to those medyo <laughs> may edad na. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, of course, that is our task, our job yes. natin to, to, to teach them Japanese language. So, uh-huh. iba-iba talaga yung approach. No, so, sa isang klase talaga, you have to identify sino yung um, Uh, tatawagan ni like fast learner or mm. or uh, medyo ano who needs more help who needs more help no? yeah. and then you have to encourage them not only teach them you have to encourage them talaga yes. ah. no so lahat na encouragement talaga pwede mong ibigay mo sa kanila kasi once they the uh, took the first exam and bumagsak they will feel na talagang uh, hindi na talaga wala nang pag-asa no hindi mm. na ako makakali so oh. so you have to encourage mm-hmm. them talaga. kasi hindi naman pag bumagsak ka isang beses, yun na yun eh. Mm. Yeah. So, maybe, kulang ka sa, sa rest. Hindi ka masyadong imo- mentally or uh, physically prepared at the, sa exam, sa examination date. So, or, or um, parang nasobrahan ka ng pag-aaral. Mm. No, minsan kasi, pag nasobrahan ka ng pag-aaral, no, you, you will lose the concentration during the Nag-overload. exam itself. Nag-overload. <laughs> Pwede din pala yun mangyari. Parang, parang nag-hang ba? No. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> ganyan, sometimes ganun. So, um, yun, you just have to, uh, aside from teaching, uh, encourage them. Ah. And uh, also, learning a language is not just about uh, reading books, mm-hmm. uh, discussion. It includes kasi like, Uh, listening to music, mm. ah. no, radio, uh, watching movies. Ah. Sometimes I encourage them to watch um, yung, yung mga cartoons na pam- like mga pambata. Uh-huh. Kasi the, the language that they are using kasi is medyo easier, basic, easier to understand wow. compared to adult oh. na Japanese language. So, mm. sometimes ju- uh, sa klase namin, uh, if, if we got bored, mm-hmm. nagpa- I play uh, lang yung mga cartoon movies like for 15-20 minutes yun. Manood muna tayo, like, parang ganun. So, it will help din kasi. Right. Uh, Kamehame way ba? Kami Kami <laughs> <laughs> Dragon <Yeah. laughs> Ano po ang meaning ng psycho? Psycho, actually, it has two meaning. No? Mm. The, the psycho word itself is um, the best. Ah, wow. The best. Okay. But uh, when you refer to the kanji, yung kanji kasi is a character that represents a, uh, a meaning or a word. Mm. Uh, when you refer to the kanji na nakalagay dun sa psycho, um, the, 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 yung psy, is a um, ray ah. and uh, I mean ko is a ray and sai is a colors so, ah, so ray okay. of colors mm. it's more like wow. um, kaya ganyan ang logo sa, sa shirt yes like oh, yeah. education diba? parang oh, lights oh. for something ganon so, oh, uh, full oh. spectrum parang of ganon, colors so. <laughs> amazing how does a curriculum look like po sa cycle training center okay um, <coughs> first um, when they start uh, pag nag start kami ng learning first we, we introduce the writing po muna and reading okay okay, okay. Wow. we start with the writing reading and writing mm-hmm. so it will take around three weeks mm-hmm. okay so they can do that in three weeks yes wow so, yeah Amazing. when when you look at the yung first time nila makita yung book parang kahit isang taon hindi ko yeah <laughs> isang timid isa kahit isang taon so this kaya. is katakana and hiragana Kita, katakana hiragana ah, yeah okay. that's for for three weeks no mm-hmm. and then some basic greetings and words so uh, we started uh, we will start by by Uh, learning uh, reading and writing katakana and hiragana mm. and then after that uh, that's when we start the grammar mm-hmm. kasi uh, when you open the books kasi it's all written in Japanese so right. they have to learn how yeah. to read and write first before we, we started uh, opening the books mm-hmm. so basically it will last for na masasabi nyo na you're good uh, you can converse now for basic na communication Yes, actually the program is um, 360 hours. Okay. That's oh. around um, eight months. Oh, seven wow. to eight months. <coughs> um, three hours per session lang din po asap me. So ah, yeah. Of the overload. Yeah, <laughs> overload. And some of the students kasi are working. Mm. You know? mm-hmm. Some of them are working pa. They have family. Some of them are students. Mm. You know? So that's why we, we sing it lang namin three hours per day. So aabot siya ng eight months. So um. Depende kasi yun sa learners eh. Mm-hmm. Usually, within five months, meron na talagang talagang uh, proficient na. Magaling na. Uh-huh. Yeah, they can read, write, they can converse. Wow. Some of them are uh, um, struggling, but uh, 
at the end kasi yung target namin na matapos yung 360 hours is not only for them to speak Japanese language but also to pass the exams the proficiency mm. the proficiency J- JLPT exam. yes the JLPT the Japanese language proficiency exam mm. so kung sa English parang IELTS yeah. yung parang requirements to go to Japan no? so that's the target din kasi kasi mm. if you don't have if you don't have that certificate uh, hindi ka rin pwedeng mag-apply for yep Japan mm. so We have to pass that. At the same time, they have to to learn how to converse. At the same time, yeah. 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 So we have uh, many kinds of students. Because some some of our students, they can they can read, they can write, mm-hmm. they can um, um, they can understand what they're reading, they can comprehend. Mm-hmm. However, when it comes to conversation, parang mm-hmm. alam nila, but it won't come out. Parang something. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. It's challenging. Uh, they know what to say, but when when the time they will speak it out, parang Mm. DKI, DKI ngon, DKI ngon. Sometimes <laughs> DKI. So three hours per day. The frequency of classes po is, is Mondays to Friday. Uh, Mondays to Fridays talaga po. Oh, All so in the daily. evenings. We have morning class, afternoon, and evening class. Wow. So, yes. So that um, this is going to be a full time work for you, you know, as you are there basically all of the day, most of the time, sir. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Per se, uh, of course, we're talking about language. Yes, but sh- since language is also part of culture, so do you uh, expose them as a, because you're doing yes, that yes. through movies and then to uh, music, but other parts of culture like you know food and interacting with. Probably Japanese yes, themselves. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you do that? Yes, actually, sir. Uh, part of the program is Japanese language and culture. Oh, yeah. okay. The course is Japanese language and culture. So, um, one of our activities na 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 expose sila sa Japanese culture is basic. When they come to this, when they enter the, the training center, once they open the door, they have to greet everybody in Japanese. Mm. You know, so. Basic greetings, you no. Know, good morning, Ohio gozaimasu, uh-huh. and then excuse me, parang everything is in Japanese. But mm. you do, you cannot, you cannot force them to speak straight Japanese, pa kasi. Uh-uh. So that's why we start in the greetings. Uh-huh. The the yung parang nagiging joke namin is uh, if you want to go to the CR, so you have to say something <laughs> in Japanese. No? Mm. Excuse me, I want to go to the bathroom. Benjo. Yeah, yung parang gano, yeah. <laughs> And so it's a uh, like sumimasen toire ni itte mo ides ka so uh, excuse me can I go to the bathroom or to can, can so I go very to formal sa- yeah so <laughs> parang parang ganon so nagiging uh, joke sa kanila na ano na lang uh, pipigiling ko na lang until <laughs> <laughs> until break kaysa <laughs> so <laughs> mahirapan <laughs> yeah. so yeah <laughs> and then aside from that um, we uh, sometimes I invite Japanese friends na mm. pupunta ng Davao or mm. uh, some some Japanese na nandito sa Davao to, to visit us mm. and then enable for the students to talk to a real Japanese talaga kasi right. iba yung intonation pronunciation yeah. ng Japanese yeah. good yes <laughs> no? so iba yung Filipino and uh, Japanese accent kasi and so We do that, and um, we introduce them to to uh, Japanese food. Yung mga yung mga nandito lang din sa Pilipinas, mm-hmm. like ramen, sushi, mm-hmm. uh, sashimi. Ah. You know. And um, we do also um, uh, sushi making activity. Wow. They make their own sushi. Wow. Uh, parang ganon. So, sila sila din yung kakain ng sushi. Ita dapat was. <laughs> Amazing! I did not know that. So this is very holistic approach, mm. no? Because some some schools would just you know teach you language, how mm. to speak, what to speak, okay? and then when to speak. Pero kani, this is very holistic. Mm. So so yeah. the, the the approach is very nice. Yeah, you. The, it gets boring din kasi if you like pagpasok mo libro ka agad late oh. learn agad. so so yun ipapasok namin yung parang ganun talaga kasi pagdating mo sa Japan um, talaga may experience mo naman yun no? mm-hmm. um, the hard thing kasi is parang uh, hindi ka familiar ng Japanese food mm-hmm. and the uh, Japanese culture kasi especially the bosses the first time na na, na ma-meet nyo they will uh, treat you like for example I will treat you dinner for your first night in Japan so ah. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung isa-serve. For example, it's a sushi. Uh, Paano ka kain hilaw to, di ba? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. So, parang parang mawala na yung parang parang ignorante, kumbaga ba? Yeah, unfamiliar. Unfamiliar, yeah. parang kawawa naman. So, oh. at least, they will, they have an idea kung ano yung uh, ano yung uh, dadat na nila sa Japan. Mm. Included, dira, say, ang kwang, how to use the chopsticks. Yes. Uh. Yes, how to use the chopsticks. But uh, sometimes din kasi medyo... <laughs> But <laughs> listen, <laughs> 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 But 
challenge. Yeah, I always, I always tell the students na talagang if you will go to Japan and then magda-dine out kayo with the Japanese, if you are not confident with the chopsticks, uh, you ask for a spoon and fork talaga. <laughs> Baka kasi Para di magkalat. Napunta na sa kabilang <laughs> table yung chopsticks. If you're not confident, <laughs> pwede naman. Ko. Yeah. Anyway, they're, they're more understanding because you're you're not local. Yeah. Oh, diba? Mm. <laughs> Amazing. Most of the students po na nag-graduate or na, nakatapos ng course, which field are they deployed ba commonly actually sir uh, we we uh, actually so, uh, when it comes to deployment uh, dalawang klasing deployment kasi tayo mm. we have the student visa mm. okay which is yung student visa kami and yung cart- counterpart natin na school in japan ang mm. na-process ng document so okay. we do the preparation of the documents mm-hmm. and then we send it to the partner school in japan mm. And then the, the partner school in Japan will uh, check all the documents and submit it mm. to immigration. Mm. The other one naman po is through um, manpower agency. Okay. okay. So we don't deploy them directly, but after they graduate, we endorse them to our partner agencies uh, na magpapaalis sa kanila papuntang Japan. Mm. Okay. So say, um, <laughs> kaining uh, eight, uh, eight months. Now, was there... A time that some of your students, almost at the end, they said, I've enough! I stop. <laughs> I don't want to study anymore. Ayoko na. Actually, s- yes, actually, it, it, it does happen, no? Oh. Ay, tabog yun na siya kasi uh, na mag-iuba na ka ng emotional kapoy na, physical mm-hmm. kapoy na. Oh. Oh. Um, we have experienced before na seven months or six months yeah. nila na ano, nag-stop. Oh. And then after like after a few months, nakita nila ilang classmates nagpost na sa Facebook mm. na nasa na nasa airport, huh? na nasa Japan. Eventually, bubalik na po sila. Ah, oh, so mana na po na inspire. Oh, inspire. Oh, sayang no, dapat sabay mini ko an, sabay mini ko an. So, siguro dili pa ni mo time no. Uh-oh. Ana so actually we we experience a lot katong pandemic. Mm. Mm, katong pandemic kasi before pandemic um, mga early uh, mga early February mm. we have a group of 30 plus students na on process na ang visa sana mm. na grupo and then uh, pag mag- ang ilahang target of deployment is a- maybe April, May depende sa mm. gawa sa ilahang visa but uh, unfortunately nag- nag-lockdown ta by March yeah. mid-March uh, yeah. 2020 So, na-stop tanan. Mm-hmm. And uh, si Japan is medyo di nakahulat kasi mm-hmm. si employer kasi di man po siya pwede mahulat kay iyahang mm-hmm. factory or iyahang company is waiting yeah. for manpower. Ni-transfer mm-hmm. siya karon sa uh, Vietnam, I think. Mm-hmm. Kasi at that time, oh. si Vietnam late na nag-declare o oh. mga lockdowns. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, si, isa si Vietnam sa late na nag-declare o lockdown. So, wala tay choice no so gi cancel gud sila oh. siya nga grupo mm. and then uban na wad pag-asa <laughs> oh yeah but uh, december of 2020 mga two weeks ata nag-open og balik si Japan nag-welcome sila og uh, gibugmudawat sila og uh, mm. workers or entry at that time mm. so sam nakatong wala na wad pag-asa nakalarga jud nakalusot jud <laughs> katong sam na medyo na hinaan ng loob uh, medyo wala sila kalarga but Uh, this year start oh. nakalarga na po ng uban natabangan wow. na po ng palarga uban no? so katulang yun so it, kailangan siya o ka ng like pagsalig mm. or uh, sa, siguro ang uban dilipod para sa ilaha mm. yeah. Yeah. na magiging yeah. tamang panahon o tamang uh, de, ansan eh destinasyon para sa uh, matagosa mm. on a personal note have you always had a passion for learning the Japanese language? Actually, um, I am not a uh, teacher talaga by profession. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Customs Administration. Mm-hmm. Oh. Kaya alam, pag-graduate na ako, namang gawin opportunity sa Japan, so, nilarga ko. Wala na ako na-practice itong uh, mm-hmm. nga course, so, mag-graduate mm-hmm. um, Pag uliin ako sa Pilipinas, when I come back, um, nagtrabaho ko og uh, Japanese companies. Mm-hmm. Until such time, nakatrabaho ko sa Philippine Nikkei Jinkai. Oh. Kauban ako si Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> Ito may nagkaila. <laughs> Yeah, dito ako nag-start to teach Japanese language. Mm-hmm. Actually, I am not very much into teaching. Mm-hmm. However, ang, ang akong motivation kasi is um, kanang, ang fulfillment na makita na ko ang yeah. tao na, ang ako napadala sa Japan na mm-hmm. naging successful. Like, for example, um, katong nakapalit, I mean, nagpa-translate o documents ako kasi mag-translate. Mag, uh, 
housing loan na sila. Ah. Mag car loan na sila. Ah. So, I mean, ma-afford na nila ang kanang mga butang na ingon na good. So, oh. aside from that, aside wow. sa mga pictures na makita nyo sa Facebook, nang makita nyo na sa naging successful sila sa ilahang. Um, gusto mo hitabo sa ilahang kinaboy. So, muna siya ang fulfillment. So, muna, that drives me na mag-teach yung Japanese language. Mm. Mm. So, oh. a passion turned to be a uh, uh, profession vocation. Parang gano'n. <laughs> Nice. So, um, how do you see yourself, no? Because you you started this in 2017. 2017. So you're now on your sixth year of sixth doing year, this. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, how do you see yourself? Are you expanding? You know, like more branches in different cities. Actually, um, 2019 we started branching out. Na namin sa Tagum oh. and Butuan. Wow. But when pandemic starts, we have to close the branches mm-hmm. kasi wala namang face-to-face classes, no? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, um, 2020, 2021, uh, medyo naglaylo ko sa operation kasi I don't want to uh, to promise the students kasi. Kasi once they enrolled kasi, they have this, uh, 50, let's say, 50% hope na makapunta ng Japan. Uh-huh. But for me kasi during that pandemic, it's, wala talaga. Kahit mag-aral ka na mag-aral, I can only send you to Japan if tapos na yung mga lockdowns at the time. Mm. So, So, I laylo at the time. Mm. No, I only accept students, those who wants to learn lang. lang. Yung gusto lang matuto ng Japanese language, but mm. don't want to go to Japan. Yung parang ganun lang. Through online. Yun lang yung tinuturuan ko at the time. Mm. Ah, so, di lang siya limited to people who actually want to go there or work yes, or study, sir, yeah. but those that just have the passion to learn a language. Mm. Yes, says we are open to all who wants to learn Japanese language. Nice. Wow. Is there a particular time po na mag-start ang curriculum or ang class? Actually, sir, um, yes, we, we do have schedules kasi dapat sabay-sabay mag oh. isa ka-klase mm-hmm. mag-start. Kasi pag mabihain ka, yes. ang imong classmates, kabalo na magsulat o basa, eh, mabihain ka, oh, yeah. medyo, hindi <laughs> ka kasabay. No? <laughs> so, dapat, uh, ano, uh, pag-start sa klase, sabay-sabay, gid mo. Um, we just started our, kasi klase mo, ganda mong schedule, mm-hmm. depende sa, depende sa, um, tawag ani, sa students, no? Um, mm-hmm. For example, last, this week, We just started our new batch afternoon. Ah. Na se- third day pa nila, ah, se- second day pa nila kahapon. Okay. Um, so, mo pa start la sa reading and writing. Mm. And then, since limited lang mo na facility o instructor, um, pag mahuman ang isa ka klase, saka pa mag-open o another batch na po. Mm. Yeah, so, para focus. Para focus siya sa ano. Is there like a, an age requirement, you know, that probably around 20... Minimum anak or wala ba? Like for learning the language lang sir, uh, we accept students kahit 16 years old, Ooh. kahit high school. Mm. Yeah, wag lang yung sobrang bata kasi yeah. ano, kita <laughs> manage yung lisod kaya bata niya na adult bita yung mix. So, uh-huh. so yung mga 16 years old, we had we we had like 16, 17 years old before and students. Mm. Um, we accept that uh, ages also and um, kahit mga 50s if they want to mm-hmm. learn Japanese language but without the promise na we can send them to Japan especially uh-huh. pag nasa mga 50s ganon mm-hmm. so kasi mm-hmm. they, they, sometimes the not the agency but the employee itself na kung mag hire man lang ko mas gusto na ko medyo bata-bata oh. para uh, oh. yeah. depende sa job category That's mm-hmm. or maybe kuan sila no mga descendant sila na finally get-invite to, yes, to, to, to come descend. over Sometimes we have descendants. Na po yung uban na 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 boyfriend na Japanese. Ah. Oh, so even ang ilahang boyfriend makakommunicate with in in English pero base dog dalhon sila sa Japan in mamit ang parents at least maka converse na surprise ang parents. Yeah. So di ba? Oi. Nag-effort ba? Tapos isa sali sa conversation. Oh, I learned this from Psycho Japanese language. Promote dayon. Promote dayon. So basically, sige go. There are multiple batches sa yes. isa ka ano within the eight months period of uh, learning yes sir yes sir. how many students po are allowed in one batch na ba mo limit or sa classroom mm-hmm. yes karon um we limit up to maximum of 15 students per class lang okay, ah, okay. That's so good. the the uh, the idea bakit 15 students lang it's because we want to uh, We want to identify gud kung kinsa tong dili pakabalo mm. kinsa to ano kasi pag more than uh, we do believe kasi I do believe kasi no na pag more than 25 the teachers is parang okay kung kinsa to makapasar makapasar oh, <laughs> yeah parang ganun so and when we have to talk to them one by one yeah. during the class no yeah. mm. so para mahibal-an na mo na 
kani siya okay na kani siya kailangan pa mm-hmm. og uh, ano Mm, that's good. So, so concentrated, personal, holistic approach mm. in teaching. Okay, I remember so na when we were teachers, <laughs> 40 in a class. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Uy, about pag 60 <laughs> ang high school. Sa <laughs> kwan <laughs> public no mo na kasagaran. And I say, um, we uh, can you invite our listeners now yes. who are interested in probably getting um, the opportunity to learn Japanese language. So yes, invite them <coughs> to the school. Okay, um, uh, for those who are um, interested in uh, learning Japanese language, not only uh, to go to Japan, but interested to, to, to learn the language. Mm-hmm. So we, we offer Japanese language and culture. Mm-hmm. That's 360 hours um, from basic up to N4 level, mm-hmm. which is the, con- um, uh, the level na required no, ni, ni Japan for, uh, for employment, yeah. uh, yung N4 level. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and and uh, I would like to invite also for those mga mga yung mga medyo bata bata pa na may naipangando yung mga tuk Japan mm. uh, because Japan actually is in need gisha of manpower a lot of manpower a lot of our guests na na mga employers uh, na visit sa Davao o visit sa 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 Saiko mm. they ask talaga na ing ani kadaghan ng ilahang kailangan wow. However, we have a requirement kasi to meet. No? Uh-uh. One of which is the Japanese language mm-hmm. skills. So that's why you have to invest effort. Yeah. You know, effort of time, good siya, to learn the language first before you think na unsa imuhang applyan. But uh, when you speak about uh, job opportun- opportunities in Japan, daghan good siya, daghan kaayo siya. All you have to do is to start mm-hmm. by learning the language. And it will take time. No? Di siya after a month, after two months, nakalarga na ka sa Japan. So, you have to, to give time, no? Kasi if you have a dream na matug Japan, if you will not start now, magiging dream na lang siya for the rest of your life. True. So, as early as possible, you have to start. Kasi a, a year from now or six months, eight months from now, who knows, na naka sa Japan. Yes. Contact information? Yes. Uh, we are located, Psycho Japanese Language is located at uh, Strip Building, door 17, second floor, Matina Town Square. Mm. Uh, MacArthur Highway, Davao City. Um, for the contact numbers, I unfortunately <laughs> don't memorize the numbers. Sige, so, Facebook na lang. Yes, I will post it. <laughs> Nakapost naman po sa Facebook. So, we have Facebook uh, page and Facebook account. So, you can mm. check Psycho, Psycho Japanese Language. That's yeah. S-A-I-K-O-U, mm. Japanese Language Training Center. So, wow. Great things na lang po, guy. <laughs> okay, so I take lang po ng opportunity to, uh, to to greet my wife na nag bed rest karon na sa uh, balay. Uh, hi, kay Anne Margaret. Um, yeah, sa, um, sa ako ang uh, son nga I think na siya sa yung swimming class karon. Oh. Hello, good luck sa imuhang swimming class na. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Say thank you so much for sharing, and I hope that uh, makarami. Mm. Hopefully. So, hopefully. Yeah. So, friends, that's our, um, of course, our segment for our culture and arts. But uh, we'll come back, and then when we do so, we'll have our Ask Mosi Pastor segment. In the meantime, we'll pause for a song from Jeremy Camp. The answer. Hey, this is still Mega Mornings here on Mega Radio. Radio. We continue to communicate, communicate the love of God. God. 